Endoscopy is a process using video cameras where we can investigate symptoms that patients have in their gut. Endoscopy is a very simple technique. Patients can usually have it done in either a morning or an afternoon session. As a result of the COVID pandemic, we've had to reduce our number of endoscopies significantly. On top of that, a lot of patients are still very worried about coming to hospitals, that they may actually be exposed to other patients with COVID. And in some units, as much as 60% of patients who are offered appointments have declined to come to the department. And this is obviously causing big problems as they've got important symptoms that need investigation to make a diagnosis. It's very important that for, uh, patients are aware that coming to endoscopy is not putting them at any increased risk. We've made every effort in all of the units in Greater Manchester to ensure that patients are as safe as possible. The risks of putting off investigation of important symptoms are far, far outweigh the risks of contracting coronavirus by coming up to hospital having your endoscopy. As soon as patients booked for an appointment, they'll be contacted by the staff who will check that they've not been exposed to anybody with COVID. They'll be taken through a questionnaire. If that's all clear, they're then given an appointment. And the day before their appointment, they're contacted again to make sure that they've not been exposed to anybody since the previous contact. All patients now booked in for endoscopy will be given an exact time to arrive. When they arrive at the main entrance of the hospital, they'll be asked to sanitise their hands and they'll be given a face mask which will be worn throughout their stay in hospital. They'll be asked a couple of simple questions about whether they've had any illness. If you've got a relative with you, they'll be asked to drop you off and leave. No relatives at the moment are being allowed into the endoscopy departments unless the patient has special requirements. The first thing that patients will notice is that there are a lot less people around and that everyone in the hospital will have a mask on. After you've been admitted at the front desk, you'll then be taken through to the pre-assessment area where the nurses will check your blood pressure and your temperature and your pulse rate. They'll fill in some documentation with you and then you'll be taken through to the waiting area where you'll be put into a, an appropriate gown and that's where you'll wait for your procedure. The staff will have on PPE, which is the protective equipment that we use for doing the procedure. As soon as the patient's had the procedure, they'll then be taken to uh, the recovery area and once patients recovered, they'll be given the results of their investigation, their relative will be contacted and they'll be allowed to be escorted out of the unit by their relative. We can only reiterate that we've made the hospital as safe as we possibly can. I think if patients are still worried about the risks, they need to contact the endoscopy department and the nurses or the doctors can reassure them further. It's also important if patients are worried about coming and decide not to come for their appointment, they let us know well in advance so that we can use the appointment for someone else who also needs important investigations.